Here we are. Okay, so we're back for part two. We've had our chocolate. Look at these that they've made. Aren't they sort of gorgeous? Look at that. I think they're all cut out now, you see. Stick them in your window, let people know that you're shining bright and follow the light who is Jesus. Very simple. Now, second part is we need, this is called Christingle, we're going to do now. Christingle, German word, so when you go home, you can impress people at home, say, I can speak German. And um, Christingle, the Christingle is spelled Christ, as in Jesus, and the Ingle at the end of the word Christingle. Ingle is an old word for fire, and, um, and it means flame, or bright, or something like that. So, and it also means um, Christ child. It can mean Christ child. So Christingle can mean Christ child, or it can mean light, that Jesus shining brightly. For that, we need an orange. These are all our things we need. So what do we need? Just to help people at home, we need an orange, we need a candle, that's the phone, but we can't answer the phone at the moment because we're too busy making Christine orange. orange. It's a big, you can get a bigger orange as this. You get them little tiny ones as well, but this is, um, this is not a bad size orange. We need candles, everyone. You need some red ribbon. I haven't got any red ribbon, so I made this um, red card. We need tin foil, and we need delicious sweeties. Sweeties. And some raisins. Okay, and I'm going to explain what we do, and my helpers here are going to help me do. Right, right, I'm going to tell you right now, son. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, you've got to get a responsible adult to do this. You're more responsible than me because I'm not a responsible adult at all, but because I don't want you to chop your fingers off or slice your nose off, well, let me show you what you want to do then, and then you can have a go. And I'm being very brave letting them do this. But this is what you've got to do. Keep your fingers away. Yeah. And you've got to make a cross, like a kiss. Okay. In the middle. Okay. You know how your mum does kisses on the bottom of her Brussels? Yeah. yeah. That's how you want to do it. Okay. You want to go? Are you going to cut your finger off? No. Please no. don't, because otherwise I'm going to have to explain that. Like, let me just take that little knobby bit off there. That's a little gem. Right. I'll hold it, you stab it. Watch my fingers. Not too far down. Keep going, that's it. Yeah, a bit further over this side. Watch your fingers. That's it, you've got it. That's perfect. D d dig downwards. That's it, you've got it. That's fine, that's fine. And then you've got to do the another cross shape that way. Watch your fingers. Perfect, that's good. You've got it. Ava, can you manage? Yeah. Be careful of your fingers. It looks like a cool or something. It, it does. It's, it's very easy to do. Watch your fingers, Ava. That's it. If I turn down to a circle, I'll only have a Well, actually, we're going to, we're almost going to do that because, um, it's, because we're going to stuff something in there in a minute. Have you done it, Ava? Yeah. Um, no, that's good. Can you smell the orange? Yeah. Mmm, I love it. <coughs> oh! What's up? <laughs> you, you, you sneezed into the orange, that poor orange. Have you done it, Ava? Let me have a go. Let me have a go. Yeah. Oh, you know why? Good. That's it. I've done it because it's that. Um, let me just have a look at yours. Son. I'm sure you've done it perfectly. Yeah. You have. It is. Look, you can see it. It's a perfect cross. That's it. Right. Okay. Um, get this little bit of no. Get this little bit of um, thing here and wrap it round your orange. And it's yeah. Now, what, the thing is, the orange, let's think of it this way. I'm going to try and explain now what it's all about. The orange represents the world. No, the other way, around the, around the middle of the orange, that's it. The orange represents the world, and the red ribbon represents Jesus as love. So he's kind of got his love all the way around the world. So we've got to stick that ribbon down. So that's the world. That's the, so the orange is the world. The red is the red. Why is it red, do you think? Why the colour red? Because the colour of love is red, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have a red heart, it means you really love someone, exactly. Grab that sellotape paper. I thought we all have red. We have got, we all got red hearts. And, um, and, um, and it's always a sign of love. So there's yours. Just stick it down. Stick it right there. Yeah, stick it so, it, so that it joins together. And that symbolises Jesus as love for us, for the world, for the whole world. So, look, so that's what you should have there. 
You just have a ribbon around there like that. If you if you're struggling to stick it down, let me know. But that's it. You've got it. Perfect. 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 This is gonna be on YouTube for the whole world. It is gonna be on the YouTube for the whole world. So you need silver um, paper, tin foil, and you so take one of those. Just fold it in half like that, and put it where your little cross that your little kiss mark on your world that you made. So it's like we're making our own world. Yeah, so this, this is supposed to represent um, Jesus as light shining on the world, shiny. So all you need to do is, this is where it gets difficult. You might do this way. How about this? Get your candle and put it around like that. Like make a little cup at the bottom of the candle. That's it. And then that should hold. If you squeeze it on, it should hold a little bit. Because then your candle is going to go into the little kiss that you made at the top of your orange. Squeeze it in. Wait, what? Yep. Push it in. Like, it'll, take, it, it'll squeeze in. If, you, if you're having trouble, let me know. Yeah. Oh, no. That's it. Just rub your fingers. You do it. It's not <laughs> It does work. It's just that sometimes it's very difficult and you do yeah. need muscles, and I have them. In abundance. Thank you. See? Are you alright? Are you jump a bit more sanitate for Sonny's um, ribbon that's coming up? Da 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 do do do. That's it. Perfect. That won't go anywhere now. So. so, what you've got there is the world. You've got shiny over the world. You've got the candle representing Jesus as the light of the world. So he shines brightly on all the world. Now, this is the good bit. You need four cocktail sticks. That's four then. You need four, Eve. And I need four. And what we're going to do, you can do all sorts with this. We're going to use, hang on, let me just press this. I'm not sure what's happened here. Low battery. Low battery, but I think we might have enough time to do it. We're running out of battery, but you need four cocktail sticks. And the four cocktail sticks, um, you know on a compass, what are the four points of a compass? Uh, North. North. West. West, okay. So you've got to stick one in at those points. North, okay. east. So just, just stick it in above the red. That's it. South. So it looks a bit like an alien spacecraft. Yeah. Okay, stick them in. Careful with your fingers. Don't pierce your hand. Also, what are the four seasons of the year? Uh, Winter. Winter. Summer, spring, spring and autumn. autumn, where the fruit trees. So what we're doing here, we're on these four points, which are the four points of the earth, north, south, east, west, or the four seasons, we're going to put all the fruits of God's love for us, because this is all about God's love. So you need to get a raisin and stick it on, on each side. Because okay. do you know what raisins are? Um, dried up grapes. Yeah, exactly, dried up grapes. So they're really delicious for you. I love raisins. I do. And you can eat them like sweets, really. Oh, talking of which, you then, when you've got your four raisins on, you need to put four sweets. You can put either the fizzy ones on first or these ones. And I've lost me cocktail stick in the orange. <laughs> That's not very good. This is a bit fiddly. In fact, it's probably better to do without sticking your um, your cocktail sticks in first. But anyway, we've done it now. Done it, son? Get in there. So when you've got your marshmallowy ones on, which, by the way, are delicious, and we'll, we've got a packet to eat after this. Yes, because you've been so good. Um, you get these fizzy ones then. which are equally delicious. These are tangy beyond words. Now these are very awkward to put on because they're a bit hard, so be careful. Don't pierce yourself. If you need any help, let me know. They smell very nice. They're nice, they're like... There is. Oh, oh son. You've got a marshmallow missing. Maybe I ate that one earlier. But never mind. Stick a fizzy one on. Oh, do you want one of mine? Yeah, yeah, I'll have that one. Yeah, well, let me put it on there for you. So I'm marshmallowless now, but no 
never mind, it's still not lovely. One marshmallow. One marshmallow less, yes, because I've got three others, so that's okay. Have you done yours? Yeah. That looks fab. That is very good. So what do the all yes. what do all the sweeties represent? Um, all the fruits of God's love for us. Yes. In every season. Did you that? Yeah, oh. I think so. I might not have done. Uh, so the, the world is the orange, the red is God's love. The light, the candle is Jesus as the light shining, and the tinfoil is all the shining over the world and all the lovely things. Some people put nuts on these, like monkey nuts, which I love. But um, I've eaten all of them, so I can't. <laughs> So, but you can put anything on there. You can put dates, you can put nuts, you can put eh, monkey nuts are great because you can pierce them through the shell. But they are lovely. Now, well done you guys, you've done it. And now, not, not yet, but whilst you're finishing off, son, I am going to get my lighter because we are going to light. Light them on fire? Yeah. We're gonna what we're gonna do. And we're going to lift them up and we're, and we're going to... Um, we don't have to sing because we haven't got the words for the song and we don't know it very well. But you can sing a lovely song about Chris Dingle. Um, we're not going to do that, but what we are going to do is we're going to lift it, we're going to light these, lift it up, and together we're going to say, um, Jesus is our light. Happy Christmas, everyone. And then that's going to go out to talk about it. Hopefully people at home will be able to do this, though. Yeah. And by that stage, we might just have enough energy left on our iPad to... Um, to get it going. So, do you want me to light them? It's not going to bite you. It's noisy. <laughs> Boom! It's like a laser gun. Oh, oh, oh. it's getting bigger. No, we will get bigger, but. So that, that's our Chris Stingle, everyone. It means Christ light, so that's that. It also means Christ child and all our lovely things around it that we've made. Again, the children at the primary school did this and they did a fantastic job, beautiful, beautiful ones. But I can't download it onto our YouTube. Um, but I think it's on the primary school website, so you can find it on there. But my helpers, Ava and Sonny and me, want to leave you with a little message. We're going to say, Jesus is our light. Happy Christmas, everyone. Jesus is our light. Happy Christmas, everyone. Well done, guys. We can, we can blow that now. Absolutely fab. Fab.